All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. I'm jumping straight into this. You can see the setup. We are going to be making our provisional England World Cup squad for the 2022 World Cup. Why are we doing it now? Well, because in a couple of days, Gareth Southgate is going to be making his. Now, I've got a list of names up here, as you can see, 52 names to be precise, all based on people that have been in and around the squad or could be open for consideration for this next squad. Now, technically, Gareth could put all of them in his provisional squad when he names it on Thursday or Friday this week because... As you can see with the timelines I've got just up here, the first deadline is actually for a 35 to 55 man provisional squad. Do I think Gareth's going to name 55 players? Probably not. This is a very unusual World Cup though because you've got no warm-up games. You've got all these league fixtures going right up until the World Cup starts. So you could have a lot of injuries. You've got players that are coming back from injury. We don't know how ready they're going to be. So I do expect Southgate will name a quite big squad. How big exactly that will be, I don't know. I, I probably think somewhere between 30 and 40 names. The main deadline comes later in about three to four weeks. It's on the 14th slash 15th of November when he names his final squad. That can be up to 26 players deep. And I imagine Southgate will use the full 26. Obviously, uh, there might be some backup players as well that can get called up. Injury, COVID, whatever, you can make replacements. So we're going to get straight into it, start making our squad. I'm not going to leave it massive. I'm going to get it as close to 26 names as I can Although we've got to allow for things that can happen in the next month, of course. Before we get into it, though, make sure you drop a like on the video if you're enjoying it. Subscribe for more. We've got lots more Spencer FC content coming soon. Okay, so if we're going to build a World Cup squad, first thing you've got to do is just look at the, the non-negotiables, the people that we know are going to make it. So we'll go through the team. I mean, Pickford is no doubt is 100% in goal, right? Pickford is going to be there. I think he'll be number one, but he's definitely going to go to the World Cup, barring any nightmare injuries. Um, Trippier is 100% going to be there. Declan Rice is 100% going to be there. Jude Bellingham's going to be there 100%. And then we've got some attacking players like, yes, yeah, Saka's going to be there for sure. Sterling's going to be there. Put him on this side for now. Because I think Grealish and Foden will definitely be there as well. I think Mason Mount, even though he'd been on poor form until recently, where he's recaptured it a bit, he'll go there because we know Southgate loves him. And then obviously Harry Kane's definitely going to be there. So straight away, we've started to build somewhat of a team, right? Now you can see there's a lot to talk about in the centre-back position. I think before we do that, though, we've got to talk about, is this my squad or is this my prediction of Gareth Southgate's squad? Because they're two different things. There's a lot of similarities, of course, but there's a few differences. I mean... Straight away, I've kind of lined it up in a, in a five at the back formation. I think that's what Southgate will probably use. And I kind of think that's what we have to use, to be honest, because we haven't got a lot of informed centre-halves. And I feel like by having three in there, we make ourselves a little bit more solid. Would I be up for a back four? Yeah, I would be as well. But I'm going to work with this template for now. And whilst there's always a chance of Southgate making some controversial calls, there's a couple of positions where his, his hand's being forced a little bit. One of those is right back. Now, we have an abundance of world-class right backs. That's no secret, but a lot of them are injured. I've got Walker and James in italics here because they are both currently a doubt. I think James a little bit more of a doubt than Kyle Walker. They're both trying to make it back. I find it really unlikely that Gareth will take both of them just because of the fact that they're not going to play a lot of games in the lead up to the World Cup. And I think the first big decision for me is I think that Southgate will tend to favour Walker. He's played a lot more for Southgate over the years and he's more versatile. He can play that right centre-back spot and he can play right back. So for that reason, I think Walker goes, and I think James doesn't, and I'd probably make that same decision because you can't take two guys that haven't been playing. So as you can see, we've currently got 10 of 52 names selected. He can take up to 55, remember. So I'm actually going to say Reese James is not going to go because of the injury situation. I think if he's not injured, he goes, and I think Trent wouldn't have gone. And I actually don't know if I'd have took him. If everyone was fit, because of the history of the England team, because of the amount of criticism he's been under, and all those things, I don't think I would have taken Trent but I think Trent probably has to go now just because of the injury. So we'll take Trent, but Reese James is staying home. Now let's move into the centre halves because there's a couple you've got to take. Like John Stones has got to go. If we move across to left back, Chilwell's got to go for me. So who are the remaining centre halves? Okay, well, Maguire's obviously a massive question mark. He's been a stalwart for Gareth Southgate during his tenure. But does he go? He's not been on good form. He's not been playing much for Man United. Big decision. And I'm not going to make that one yet. I'm going to build the rest of the back three. So for me, Eric Dyer will go. He's been on decent form for Tottenham. Next, I think, I think Kyle Walker will go. He'll be the one that's slightly injured but gets taken. But of course, if he doesn't make it back in time, there's loads of other people that can step in. This is where this provisional squad comes in. Next, I'm going to take Ben White. Okay, he's been doing really well for Arsenal. And he can also play... Right back as well. So maybe not right wing back, but if we end up with a back four, Ben White's versatility makes him a no-brainer for Gareth Southgate. And me. So White's in there. Now, 
There's a couple good options left at centre half. There's a lot of people that are going to be pushing for Tamori to go, even people like Dan Byrne, you know. But I think Cody will be on the plane. I, I do think that Southgate likes him. He likes him in the dressing room as well. I know he's a good leader of men. So I think Cody goes. And then, I mean, you don't have to take six centre backs. You know, this is just a template I've made. It does make the squad nice and balanced. If you play three centre backs, it means you've got one spare one in every position. But what I think should happen is this. On form, I think Joe Gomez goes. Also versatile like Ben White, can play right back. He might not take White and Gomez. He might be one of the two. And I'd go with White if it was that decision. But that could be a six. And then what I'll do is I'm going to put Maguire just outside here. And this is where the provisional nature of the squad comes in. I'm going to put him like that. So basically what I'm saying with that is that he makes my provisional squad, but he doesn't make my 26 as things stand. If you want to be in the 26, you've got to be in the white boxes. So we've got 19 names of 52 in this box here so far. We could do the other two goalkeepers while we're here. So I think for me, Ramsdale's going to go. And I think Pope's going to go. I think Henderson and Johnston will miss out. So we're up to 21 now. We need another left back. Trippier has played there in the past. But because we're down on right backs, I think he'll just start right back or right wing back. So Luke Shaw's the obvious shout. You've got Target, uh, uh, Newcastle. You've got Justin, Walker-Peters, Sessegnon. But I think he'll go with tradition, uh, Luke Shaw. And I don't know if the other guys have been strong enough to take that spot. Uh, Luke Shaw's lack of football does concern me. That's one to keep an eye on. So we've got 22 names now, and it means that these guys are all missing out for me. Centre-halves, I know there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be saying that that extra spot should go to Tomori. Um, and I'm not against it. I'm not against Tomori. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to stick Tomori there as well as another option. Because the squad can be bigger at this point. I think Tomori deserves a chance. So Tomori is on, on my provisional selection. But it does mean all these guys are missing out. So now we're starting to get somewhere. That's actually already 23 names. Now, we know we've got a bit more room in this squad, but just to give you an idea, we've still got to do most of our attacking positions here. So in centre mid, we know Rice and Bellingham are going to go. They're probably going to start as well. Who else will he take? Okay, well, for me, I think he takes Jordan Henderson, again, as a, a vice captain in the squad. Um, and I know that Southgate tends to go sort of with loyalty. Um, am I okay with that? I think I probably am, mainly because I think Phillips is an injury doubt. So my understanding is that Phillips is not going to be back in time. So if that's the case, we'll say Phillips misses out. That's the second injury omission. Reese James and Phillips probably would have been in my squad and Southgate squad if they were fit. So assuming Phillips misses out, I think Henderson's a no-brainer to go as another centre-mid option. Who else are we taking in that area, though? We've got James Ward-Prowse. We've got Ruben Loftus-Cheek. We've got Harvey Elliott as a late shout. Uh, Madison is a more attacking option. Gallagher. For me, it's between Gallagher and James Ward-Prowse. And I'm thinking, stick James Ward-Prowse in there. And I'm thinking, stick Gallagher as another provisional option which means Ruben Loftus-Cheek and Harvey Elliott miss out. Madison is another option in here. Now, Grealish and Foden can also play in there. That is true. So I'm going to stick Madison in there for now, and we'll come back to it. But I think Madison... I don't think Southgate will take him, to be honest. I don't think he will, but I think he should. 27 names. We've got a couple spots left, so that we can go with more numbers if we need. Bowen, Sancho, Rashford. For me, only one of those goes. Maybe two in this provisional squad, but we're talking about the final squad. Only one at most of those three goes. Now, Rashford has been on good form for United recently. Better form than Sancho, definitely, and, and probably better form than Bowen as well. And I'm trying to think non-West Ham here. I think he takes Rashford. You know, I'll put him down as another striker here. We know he can play out wide. Likewise, Sterling can play out front. But I think he takes Rashford. Bowen and Sancho, I'm not sure. I'm actually going to stick Bowen down here as a provisional option. Maybe even Sancho as well, to be fair. Basically, if you're in green, for me, you probably get cut from the final squad unless something goes wrong in the time between now and then. For example, if Carl Walker doesn't make it, he might take Tamori and Maguire, or I would. You know, if, if James Ward-Prowse doesn't make it, maybe he takes Gallagher, whatever. Same with Bowen and Sancho. They're not quite in the squad for me yet, but they could finish up. So we've got one striker spot left. Tony, Watkins, Wilson, Calvert-Lewin, Solanke has been good for Bournemouth. Abraham. For me, it's between probably Tony and Abraham here. I don't think these guys are going to make it, not unless there's any injuries. So I'm going to go Tony in there. But I'm also going to take Abraham in my provisional squad because I've got those extra numbers. So that is 32 players from a 52-man list that I started with. So I've omitted 20 names from my list saying they're not going to go in my plane or on Southgate's plane unless something changes. Unless James makes a miracle recovery, Phillips makes a miracle recovery, or any of these guys hit crazy form between now and the World Cup. And even then, I don't know if it'd be enough because remember what Jesse Lingard did before the last Euros? 
and, and Southgate still didn't take him. I don't think he goes on current form as much as he does sort of longer term form. So that's the 32 man squad. Uh, I'd have to cut that to 26 men. So it'd be six people to miss out. And as things currently stand, the six that would miss out for me would be Tamori, Maguire, Gallagher, Bowen, Sancho and Abraham. Everyone in white goes. What do you think, guys? I don't think that's that different to Southgate squad. I could take an extra attacking player and lose a centre-back. If it was up to me of those six, on ability, I'd probably lose Connor Cody. But Carl Walker's injury issue is a slight concern. If you do lose Carl Walker, you don't necessarily have to take Tamori and Maguire because you've got White and Gomez that offer you that centre-back, right centre-back, right-back option. So you could, be, you could have enough already. And instead, you take a Bowen or an Abraham. Madison is probably not going to make it. I don't think, because Southgate's just not been calling him up. But he should, in my opinion. So if you consider that he might not take Madison, who else is he going to take in there? You could look at these guys as centre-attacking midfielders as well, Grealish and Foden, in which case maybe he takes a Sancho or a Bowen or an extra striker and looks at Rashford as a left winger. There's definitely some room for manoeuvre, but look, the last Premier League or domestic league match day isn't until the 13th of November. That's almost a month away. So there's plenty more twists and turns. There'll probably be some more injuries. There could be some hot streaks of form. But if I had to make my squad right now, it would be everyone in white on here. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. How different would your squad be? If Reese James was fit, would you take Trent? I wouldn't, but Trent does go for me because of the injuries. And have I missed someone out? Is there someone not included in my 52-man list? It's a big list, but it's not an exhaustive list. There'll definitely be some people you guys think should be in the conversation. And, and I think you'd be right. It's just I've not put any names down there that haven't ever really been on Southgate's radar. If he's never thought about taking them up, then... I just don't think it's going to happen, but who knows? Who knows? There could be a, a last-minute Theo Walcott shout. But that is my 26-man squad as things stand. Pickford, Ramsdale, Pope, Trippier, Trent, Stones, Walker, Dyer, Ben White, Cody, Joe Gomez, Ben Chilwell, Luke Shaw, Declan Rice, Jordan Henderson, Jude Bellingham, James Ward-Prowse, Mason Mount, James Madison, Saka, Sterling, Grealish, Foden, Kane, Rashford, Tony. With Tomori, Maguire, Gallagher, Bowen, Sancho and Abraham, ready to step in. Let me know what you think. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. I will see you next time. Another video very soon. Until then, don't go changing.